Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna. I just set up my PC. I'm gonna put like a bunch of lights around this, so it looks mm. dope. Tight. And I'm gonna have my cleavage out. Nice. Legit not, Twitch. Legit no. Twitch setup. Not for our. Legit. How Twitch. come not for our show? Um, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to make the money for me. Okay, I, I feel you. I gotta save the titties for one place, and that's my bank account. Uh, wow. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Definitive Rankings of Everything, episode 23. We're here with uh, our good friend Kim Congdon. What's up, Kim? Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for having me on. Uh, I forgot how much fun it was to have homework on a podcast. It is fun. <laughs> It, it is fun, but it's like when you're a comedian, <laughs> even the things that are fun are chores for some reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm at the grocery store. I'm like, what's a disaster? You know, I texted you an hour ago and I was like, had to ask details because, you know, I just wrote down the list. Yeah. But I've been, <laughs> yeah. Slightly, I've been slightly thinking about it all night. That's a better list, I think. Um, yeah. And all That's fairness. what I do every time. You slightly think about it. You put the first three that like jump into your mind and then you come back the next day and you finish it up. Like every day it's like mine's at 1157 this morning yeah yeah and my lists are day of as well so you're good this hell yeah i made i made mine about 20 minutes ago so we're all good <laughs> yeah. morgan look at this cup my mom got me for christmas it's a coffee mug and a bowl that's pretty fucking sick that's Whoa. sick right yeah hell yeah but it's Shout funny to your because mom. i don't make my own coffee <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bowl <laughs> fun yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, this this list was way harder to make than I thought it was going to be because there's like a million disasters in history, but not like not a lot of them are famous. You know? And you kind of feel bad because some of your disasters <laughs> are like petty, and you're like, yeah, but there was like Hiroshima. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, if, <laughs> yeah. It, if we went by death toll, I don't think that any of my top ten would be on the top ten. But I I have some pretty bad ones and then some stupid ones. Yeah. I, I added the highest one, highest death toll I found to the end of my list just because it deserves a mention, but I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, numbers game. <laughs> yeah. You didn't, I mean, you didn't have a, the, the biggest movie at the box office of all time made after your disaster, then who gives a fuck about it, you know? <laughs> wow. That's foreshadowing. You guys have fictional disasters? I forgot about that disaster, and, and now I feel like my list is completely wrong. Oh. Yeah, me too. Well, Until Matt yeah. just mentioned it. Yeah, that's funny because I was I was talking to my roommate about I was like, what's wh when I said like a disaster, what's the number one thing? And she's like this, the 2012 movie. I was like, I don't know if we can include that. <laughs> yeah. I liked that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that one in the, the rock one, the San Andreas Fault. I liked that one, too. I like any movie where the world's ending and you're in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Classic. In the day, Let's the day after LAX. tomorrow, my friend has a chopper. Only four of us can get in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I only met you this week, but fuck my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> that was 2012, right? They had to get on a boat or something. They always have to get on a boat. Yeah, a boat. Yeah, it's like it's never not a boat. No. What, what was the first disaster movie? Because the first one I remember was uh, Volcano. Um. Oh. Uh. What's that one? Where the camera did this the whole time. I started with a C. Oh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield was, yeah. that was way out of the volcano. Yeah. Uh, but that's how bad the camera sick. work was. You guys, I did a jerk off motion and everybody was like, Cloverfield, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a sick movie, though, when it came out. Yeah, it was okay. Um, Made you, like, sick in the theater. That's what I mean by sick movie. It makes you ill. Best end of the world movie, I Am Legend, I mean. Yeah. Interesting. Cloverfield. Well, is that more of an end of the world or a zombie movie? The second Cloverfield was great. The 10 Cloverfield. With John Lane. Goodman? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that yeah. was incredible. That was a good movie. Anything with John Goodman. Agreed. Surely. Yeah, he's a, is he still alive? Yeah, dude, he's in the middle of a season of a show right now. Oh, yeah. He's, he's one got... of those people that's like a, he's like a, a pre, pre, um, Berstein Bears, what's that called? That theory where Mandela he's effect. Oh, uh, the Mandela effect. Mandela effect. He's yeah. a pre Mandela effect. Like we know he's already died, but he's still alive somehow. John Goodman's <laughs> just one of those people where you're like, no, he did die, but he's still alive. Like you accept yeah. Mandela already. <laughs> yeah, I like that. 
Um, all right, well, let's get started. Uh, Kim, we usually like to start with the guests and have you say your number one. So what's your number one? The number mm. one disaster of all time. Oh, I thought I was picking you guys. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, Morgan and I live together, so I know him really I was going to well. say, the first time I heard of the Mandela effect, you came running into the living room to start telling me about it. <laughs> um, oh, like, I've been see, reading about this for hours. It's crazy. So the number one on my list? Yeah. World War II. Disaster, dude. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> I'll say it right now. Rough. Have you read that girl's diary? <laughs> Calling her that girl is so disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you read that girl's diary? Br Bridget Jones? Is that you know the one. Uh, Bridget Jones. <laughs> and Frank's sister, Bridget Jones. Yeah, yeah vastly different experiences. Well, let's change <laughs> the list of most iconic diaries of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank, Bridget, Bridget Jones. Jones. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bridget Jones got a sequel, so I put it above him. <laughs> True. I didn't read two Anne Frank diaries. Yeah, she was kind of a one-hit wonder. <laughs> uh, disappointing ending, too. Yeah, really disappointing. <laughs> like Marley and me. <laughs> or Old Yeller. Jesus. And Anne Frank is the Old Yeller of people. <laughs> so, oh, God. We're off to a hot start. All right, is, <laughs> World War Two? That's an interesting one. I I don't I don't know. Is that a disaster? Are wars disasters? So um, the way it began was definitely a disaster. Like thing, things were going wrong. But I feel like the way the entire world came together to defeat that—that's kind of a triumph a little bit. You know? Okay, I, World I War Two like... triumph. <laughs> Let's just knock mine off the list. What do you guys have? Kim Jong Un's haircut? Let's go. Yeah. I did have Kim Jong Un's haircut think, at I four. Think, <laughs> I, think, I think the World War Two can be considered a disaster just because of like what yeah, it did yeah. to like the the actual land. And honestly, the, the Jews will never let it go. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, you own the banks. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, what's the real disaster here? <laughs> that you came out on top? <laughs> that you own CBS and NBC and we're all sucking your teeth to get on? Sorry. I, I, I didn't know we had Alex Jones on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, this is our last episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like World War Two, just because it contains so many separate disasters, to lump them all into one disaster. Yeah, on yeah, one. I agree with you. Because Hiroshima is its own thing. So is Pearl Hiroshima, Harbor. Hiroshima, Pearl Harbor, the Holocaust, whatever was going on yeah. in China with the Japanese. Whoa, I didn't put the I, Holocaust on my list. I know, me neither. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, here's the here's the one fix for that. We accept World War Two as a disaster. Yeah, <laughs> I did, yeah for I did, sure. I did Pearl disaster. Harbor. Hmm? I mean, those could be World War Two could be the ultimate disaster. Yeah, it was so many disasters. It's a super I mean, disaster. I like it. I like it at number one. It's a super disaster. <laughs> um, it's like it's like the Pokemon, not the Pokemon, the Power Rangers, uh, fucking robot of disasters. <laughs> when they all get together. <laughs> yeah, it's the big boss of disasters at the end. <laughs> the Holocaust is the head. <laughs> Pearl Harbor's the hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, Does anyone else feel like they have anything else that could challenge World War Two? I don't think so. I mean, not if we're lumping them all together like that. I got one. What? What? Uh, so for number one, I put the comet that killed the dinosaurs. I have that on my list. Oh wow! It killed it killed seventy five percent of life on wow. Earth. Mm, I have that. I have that on my World list. Two. Sure, that was like humans. Like we were fucking up. That was not great. But that comet was like that was something else. You know what's interesting that is too? A disaster. If if the dinosaurs were never killed off, human life would probably not exist. No, uh, the, yeah, mammals would be the so, so, still very small. Yeah, we're like insects. Um, yeah, they're, they're oh, that's a really good one. Damn. Yeah, I didn't have. Yeah, so that is. It's that estimated is, seventy to seventy-five percent of all life on Earth. That means like roaches, grass, like you. Know what I mean, everything was wiped out. Well, you you just named the two things that survived, but. 
Yeah. Well, I'm saying those are the things that would survive. That's oh. like, that was it. That was what the earth was repopulated with. Oh. You know what I mean? And like sm- small, and sh- the ocean. mammals. Yeah. <laughs> like shrews and stuff. Yeah. Damn. I'm still dying at you naming the only things surviving. Well, that's what I'm saying. The only things <laughs> that the earth was left Everything with was, like, was gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cockroaches, grass. stars, <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> Water. Water. (laughs) Everything but those things. Okay. (laughs) I like I uh oh this is this is a good this is a good argument right here. Yeah. World War II versus comet that killed the dinosaurs. Are we do we know it was a comet? Are we hundred percent sure? Yeah, so I did a little bit of research last night. Uh, I, for, I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's like a golf in Mexico, like right by Mexico, that they're like, Cancun. this is where the fucking... Huh, what's it called? Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, what, what, what's really... What people really don't talk about is how the comet was here for spring break. <laughs> <laughs> that was about... That's what Com- it was. Here. Comet does sound like the name of a girl going to Cancun for spring break. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you actually go through the old girls on Wild's tape, there's a giant rock showing its titties, and you're like, "Oh, that's the comet that killed." No, that's <laughs> what's called the uh, the Chicxa the Chicxulub crater, and it's uh yeah, it's in the Yucatan Peninsula. Pixelum. That's where so the... you're gonna blame it on a woman, huh? Dude, <laughs> first, uh, first, but they said it was like uh... out of Eden. Now you killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> really bad track record for women. <laughs> Men have just been no. writing us in storybooks like we're fucking villains from the beginning. Well, you should have wrote yeah. your own books then. This fucking pussy, pussy, pussy loom comet, this titty comet just came in. Um. Um. The crater, the crater's 150 kilometers, and they said that the comet was 10 kilometers. So, like, six miles long. I'd say it? that's a bigger disaster than World War II. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, I kind of like it as I number like one. So the great number one damn my list seems so futile and petty now <laughs> no but those are but those are big disasters though yeah like at some point i think looking toward the future we're gonna have to talk about this uh kardashian west divorce at like number 10 because this is looking like it's a fucking mess right now <laughs> Yeah. Well, one day when President Pete Davidson's in office, we're really gonna have to. You know, what? Yeah, like this. This is yeah. not looking great. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my list is all everywhere. Truly. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do some. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. What do you guys like for number one? I like the comment number one. Me too. I think comment number one. Me too. Yeah. Uh, great job, Morgan. I, I think this is the biggest, best, like fastest consensus we've had on number one in a while. Really, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. How long's the show? <laughs> Usually it takes like three days. I got dinner at six, hours. you guys. It's over. Um, then we go World War II number two like that. Yeah, I like World War II. Because I didn't have it on my list. Oh, yeah. But yeah, World, World War II. World War II, too. Um, Makes sense. Are you allowed to write World War II or do you have to write World War One One? Are you allowed? What is it like dropping the flag on the floor? <laughs> yeah, it's right. World War T O O. Yeah, World War T O O. That'd be yeah. hilarious. Um, like it got assaulted. <laughs> hashtag World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, that's right. Everyone got fucked in the ass there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, number three. What do you got? Well, my number one was Chernobyl. The show? Yeah. Yeah. The acting was horrible. The writing was horrible. <laughs> um, am I reading my number two or my number three? Because now we're your at number, number two. What's your, what's, your number two? what's your number two? My number two is Sandy Hook. Damn. Damn. I didn't even write that down. That's. Pretty, it was dark. That was one of the darkest things I think that's ever happened in the world. Yeah. Right. And sure. thank God. God, things changed after. Things are a lot better. <laughs> Thank God we fixed it. But it's I don't know if frozen? it could be considered a disaster. I think he's just happy about Sandy Hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brings back fond memories. <laughs> Look at him. He's reminiscing. <laughs> it's computer pros. They'll be right back. All right. Um, I had, I had Black Death. What is that? The plague? 
oh, the plague. The plague. I mean, it killed a third of Europe. That's pretty intense. Yeah, that's kind of baller. That's really bad. That's really bad. You know what? I feel like I'm going to learn a lot on this show. Yeah, it's going to be a very <laughs> historical went, show. I went to I went to school in Florida, so all I learned was that you could survive off ice cream sandwiches, and that's not true, apparently. <laughs> I mean, it is. You just can't survive for very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on how long. Yeah, that's you how they taught you. Technically, um, you can survive off anything. He's gone. Thank God. <laughs> um, wait, so what, what are the three we had? We had Black Death, Sandy Hook, and what was yours, Matt? Chernobyl. Chernobyl? I mean, I would say the Black Plague is the biggest one of the three. Oh, what were the three? Sorry. I would say so, too. Um, it's one, I, I, only have, I only have like two historical disasters, or three historical disasters, and that's one of them. The thing about Sandy Hook, it was like, it was really sad, but it was only 12 first graders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is like f- only four adults. Right, right. And the, re- and the, and the reality <laughs> is, is, all we have to do is give it time and there'll be another one with more first graders. Yeah, yes. true. It's like they didn't take out a whole school. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah in a couple of years, it'll be bumped off the list completely. So. Right, There's, that, does, that, that does have that going for it. The world is dark. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, I would I would like to know what Morgan had, but I think he's still trying to. Wait, wait, wait. No, here. you can you hear me or no? Yeah. Morgan's worst you disasters can... is why. Oh, so it's between Sandy Hook, World War Two, or do we put World War Two too? World War Two is already number ah, two. I guess so. Okay, World War Two is two. So Sandy Hook and what are the other two? Chernobyl and the Black Plague. Chernobyl and the Black. Can you Plague. hear Morgan? I can't hear Morgan at all. I can. You can't hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Let me refresh. Okay. Huh. Sandy Hook, Chernobyl. Sandy Hook is the last on those out of those three for sure. Honestly, I don't even think Sandy Hook really belongs on here. Okay, watch your mouth. I told you he liked it. <laughs> I thought you were. I mean, as far as disasters go, does that feel like a disaster? Or is that just like mass shootings aren't disasters? Those happen like a couple times a day. It's yeah. sad for sure, sadder than most mass shootings. But like, there's a mass shooting happening right now, probably. You're right. Fucked up, but all right. I kind of agree. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning. It was just sad. It was really sad. It's sad. I think it was Chernobyl, a lot of kids. I think top ten tragedies. I think it makes the list. Is ah, Chernobyl in yeah. uh, World War Two? Did that happen during then? <clears throat> no, after. no. But Sandy, after, it feels pretty big. Was Sandy Hook during World War Two? <laughs> no, but I was saying, was should Chernobyl be uh, bumped on with the World War Two shit? Mm-hmm. Like, is it strong enough on its own? No. Uh, yeah. Chernobyl. What was the other one? The Black Plague. Black Plague? Hey, that doesn't feel like... That felt like it was kind of easily avoidable. If everyone just washed their fucking ass. Or was it because they were, like, dirty and had, like, Damn. poop on the streets? If only they had you yeah. back then, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, I could have solved all this shit. Uh, <laughs> Hindsight and modern science? I get things. You could have saved a third really, of Europe. Uh, Tell you what, if you put me in charge, probably could have stopped Sandy Hook, too. That's either here nor there. <laughs> Black, <laughs> the man's got a point. The Black Plague was fleas. That's what, oh. that, that's what, that's what killed us. Right. That's what white people get for liking dogs so much. Yeah, it <laughs> feels. How many people in Africa died of the Black Plague? None. <laughs> that's why, because their dogs are sleeping outside where they should be. Yeah. Not cuddled up in bed and being called their fur babies, you fucking weirdos. Um, uh, watch our watch last week's episode top 10 dogs with Hormoz Rashidi <laughs> good plug <clears throat> uh, I mean uh, for number two I had the Haitian earthquake oh I had that one but as one two three four five six okay I had, I had it at five five I had, I had that honorable mm-hmm. mention yeah you would <laughs> yeah <laughs> mine are more localized to the greatest country in the world America <laughs> It was like I wanted to put it on, but instinctually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, then, if, if we're not sold on the back Black Plague, Plague or Chernobyl like that, I was. I, mean, I like Chernobyl I, more than Black Plague, and Chernobyl's pretty good. Uh, well, I want to put I want to put out my number two, then, uh, because it was probably the biggest natural disaster of our lifetime. It's the 2004 tsunami. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. Oh, I had a. I think, wait, I think that was 2004. I had that at four. Yeah. 
That was like the earthquake in Japan and shit. The Fukushima. No, that was two, no, that was two thousand nine, two thousand eleven, two thousand four was the one that happened in like Indonesia that killed two hundred thousand people. Oh, the one they made yeah. the with the white family that went on vacation. They're like, let's yes, put a yes, white yes, family yes. there. People will care. Yes. Yes. Wait. So this that's <laughs> different than the ja- the Japan one that that fucked up the Japan, power plant. 2011, I believe. Uh-huh. So at three, I had the 2011 Japanese earthquake and tsunami, but I was thinking about the 2004 one. I, can I? I have a question. Can I move up one of mine to put it in the number three spot? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's no, yeah, absolutely. No, you know what? I think it's a four. Never mind. I'll wait. So, Asan, kind of along those same lines, I I th- I felt the biggest dis- natural disaster in our lifetime was Katrina. Katrina at four. I could Katrina, Katrina at five. I had it at two. That Haitian earthquake was fucked up. Somewhat. <laughs> Killed 300,000 people. Yeah, but Katrina Katrina was extra because it was like the it the disaster was the natural disaster and then when the levees broke. It was like double. Yeah, but. It, it's man-made it's and bit, natural. It's, it's a little bit overblown because of how many, just because it was America. I mean, the final death toll of Katrina I'm looking at is 1,800. But that doesn't even touch the 200,000 and the. Yeah. Possibly three hundred thousand of Haiti. It's like not even close. But Katrina was light. It was just America, Americans so we counted more. Eight hundred thousand Haitians. What? I said eighteen hundred Americans and then two hundred thousand Haitians. If you put them on a scale, it might balance out. <laughs> it's like the child adult thing. Mm. <laughs> it's not like that. The child adult thing at least makes sense. This is just. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> Wait, was the was the Haitian earthquake when Trump was throwing paper towels at people? That was no, that was a Puerto Rican uh, uh, that was hurricane. That was ours. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. You, you I do have me. I got it I I do have Trump on my list of disasters. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say at least with the Puerto Rican thing, you can't call it a disaster if it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shooting paper towels at the human beings. That was insane. He was like some sick, <laughs> fucked up, racist, bizarro version of Oprah. Yeah. Like, you get paper towels. You get paper towels. It so was funny. like an SNL sketch happening yeah. in real life. <laughs> like, that whole presidency was a full sketch. Well, get ready. Season two is coming back, maybe. That's <laughs> true. I don't doubt it. It was entertaining enough to get another season picked up. For sure. Yeah, it's, it's insane we didn't renew this. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the whole time. I don't even know who our president is now. That's how bored I am. I complained, <laughs> I complained the whole time. I was pissed. And now I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Hey, could you do something? Yeah. 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 Anything. We're bored. Please. <laughs> at, least jang- at least Trump had the decency to jangle keys in front of us. And we were like, ooh, keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, all right. So what are we doing for number three here? I'm, I'm cool with the tsunami. I like the tsunami. Over Chernobyl? Yeah. Well, yeah. Chernobyl continues to have, like, its continual effects, right? Chernobyl's got the, the, I mean, it's just one word. Like, with the tsunami, it doesn't have a name like Chernobyl does, you know? Like, people still can't go to Chernobyl. Yeah, I think Chernobyl is probably, I mean, Chernobyl is definitely... More iconic? Bigger. Yeah, more iconic. Yeah. Chernobyl has the worst name ever. Well, it's just, 2004 it sounds like an called. old aunt you don't want to visit. It's like, we have to go see your aunt Chernobyl next week. It's like, ugh, <laughs> not again. She always Chernobyl's smells. house? Yeah. yeah. It fucking smells weird. She always yeah. loves cookies. Yeah. She's so toxic. She's so toxic. She, she gives you toxic. gifts for Christmas and your birthday. She makes fun of your mom in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of like Chernobyl here. Cool. Uh, I think I think Chernobyl is the most is probably the most iconic because I, I thought of that immediately when you said disaster. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the first things that popped in my head for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to move one of mine. I want to move one of mine down up. I want to move a bunch of mine down up. What does that mean? Because the up? thing is, like... <laughs> you can't say both directions. <laughs> <laughs> from the bottom of my list, higher up. Oh, okay. Because because you know what, I had nine eleven on there. Yeah. But it's like you did too. Yeah, I had it at three. Really? Yeah, I had it at three also. Nine eleven did not make my list. Nine eleven did not make my list either. What? Yeah. I mean, looking back on it, it's definitely like oversight, but I should have had nine eleven. That's a pretty big I disaster. Just think there's, I just think I, there's bigger disasters. 
What'd you say? You think they're bigger disasters? Oh. I just think they're bigger disasters. I mean, so impactful we talked about Katrina. Though? Impactful like that was? Yeah, 9-11 sh- like sh- shook the 9-11 world. was like when a bully gets beat up and you see them change forever. But see, okay, so here's the thing. It shook yeah. America. Yeah. It was like, oh, we thought we were fucking invincible. It literally showed us that we could be beat. It was in our lifetime. I mean, it's happened, but like in our lifetime, it was the one moment where we were like, oh, we could get fucked up for real. Yeah. Damn, that's a, that's a good, that's a good, it, it's a great analogy. It, it like, it like fucked up our comfort and our safety for our whole yes. life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, we have to take our shoes off at the airport. That's bullshit. Well, not if you pay not not if you pay eighty dollars once every five years. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so true. You want to keep that's your shoes on? Something terrorists yeah. can't afford. <laughs> For Kim, it's like it, it's like seventy three cents a flight. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so bullshit. It's wild. I mean, yeah, nine eleven nine eleven's growing on me. 9-11's a good one. It it really I mean they they it doesn't play necessarily I mean I guess it does though because not like the Iraq war, yeah, just whole that whole thing, like in terms of it doesn't have nine eleven itself doesn't have the body count because it was like what, uh a couple thousand people? Three, yeah, um, three thousand about. Yeah, but like just uh the things that happened count. afterward, the twenty year war, like all that. That's it was a disaster. Yeah, yeah it was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it was a fucking it's disaster. Not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the, the the terrorists kind of really, really, really got what they wanted out of it. Completely yeah. fucked up our psych, psych, uh, psychology. Yeah, dog. People don't talk. People don't talk about Katrina and the Haiti earthquake and stuff like that the way they talk about nine eleven to this day. Nine eleven. Even if you say the words "never forget," you're like, "That's the thing." It's a disaster. We that never has its forgot own, it. It has its own catchphrase. And, and yes, yeah, even says that's my own personal nine yep. eleven. It's like when people right. talk about how disaster something happens. Nobody goes that. That's my Katrina. <laughs> no, but people do say George Bush doesn't care about black people. Let's not. Katrina definitely has its own Who catchphrase. Just like quoting Kanye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. people. People yeah. don't even know that's but about also, Katrina. Yeah, they yeah. do. People. Yeah, we remember. Also, people no. don't really. People really don't say that anymore. People still say that's my nine eleven all the time. Mm-hmm. All you know time. what? You know what I always think about on 9-11? Every 9-11, this is so fucked up. The first thought in my head is that Steve Renazizi is going to have the worst day ever. Isn't that so <laughs> crazy? Because he, he's also a friend of mine. And so I just right. get sad for him first and then everyone else. <laughs> All the people that suffered uh, losses in 9-11, Steve Renazizi is going to have the worst day. <laughs> I'm like, because it's real. Because every, every year, it's the saddest day in America and he has to, like, hide. Yeah. Yeah. That's but crazy. Also, uh, that 9-11 is his personal 9-11. <laughs> but also, but also on some real shit, because I was watching. So I I don't know if you watch any of the like the television coverage of like of anything yesterday during MLK Day. And we're just so far removed from MLK dying that like there's MLK Day sales and like mm. the, <laughs> the NBA did like a, a tribute to MLK with like really upbeat electric guitar in the background. Like I think we're like three Three, four years away from having our first 9 11 sales. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mat- mattresses Is that and true shit. true that Martin Luther King was fucking a white woman behind his wife's back? He was yeah. fucking everybody behind his wife's back. Not just white women. TikTok he had a dream. Me everything. He was like the second most powerful man in America. He was, he was fucking yeah. everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. In the 60s. Like, you know, like, yeah. come on. Yeah, I, w- I would have sucked him dry. <laughs> 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 For what he did? <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, I guess I would have too. <laughs> He's a hero. So, he so is I'm, a hero. Every I'm hero cool deserves with... to be sucked. Quote me on that. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'm cool with putting nine eleven here. I kind of want to move so, it above Chernobyl. Yeah, I think so too. The way I'm okay just, with that. The way we just talked about it. You guys sold it. It was moving. Yeah, it was. Listen, I know how to sell a disaster, baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm cool with moving it about Chernobyl. I don't think it beats World War Two, right? No. no, no. Just World War Two no. just got yeah. It had, it well, just one of the events of World War Two is like the OG 9/11. Yeah. 
also, also, Matt, you put the biggest number. Huh? Why are you breaking up? Oh, Matt. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, did you you put the Big Bang as number one? Well, writing the comment that killed the dinosaurs was too long. Yeah, but that's big not the Big Bang. Bang. Oh, that's, that's when they were created. Very, very. <laughs> yeah, the Big Bang is the best thing ever. No, I'm not done. The Big Bang yeah. Theory season two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Big Bang is a very different thing. It's just, it's just right. in Florida too. Why don't we have a comment? Why don't we have a name for the comet that killed the dinosaurs? Should just be they, called the comet. They, they're going to call it like Lady Comet. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Comet. <laughs> Miss Comet. That bitch Comet. <laughs> That if, you, if, you, if you just put the dinosaur comet, everyone will know what you're talking about. That's true. But it should have a name for sure. Yeah, why? It's it's the number one disaster of all time. It doesn't have its own name. They should have called it's, it Rut Row. Nine <laughs> Eleven, the comet. Nine Eleven, the comet. Chernobyl, the comet. The, the yellow plague. Okay. Haiti uh, earthquake comet. <laughs> all right. All right. What do we What do we think at number five? Um, uh, America's response to COVID. <laughs> That's truly on my list. Just the whole thing, the whole fucking thing. Not even like <laughs> picking a side on COVID, real, not real. We're being put. The whole thing, the whole response was a fucking. Disaster. Yeah. The yeah. government, the people, everybody just the fact fucked that it we, up. we got like one st- one and a half stimulus checks has been like four years. <laughs> people are like crawling <laughs> on the streets, like dying right now. There's a shootouts in LA. I saw like a Western shootout in LA where a fucking <laughs> like it's crazy. There's people in the, at night they ride their bikes with purge masks on and bats. <laughs> it's like the whole country is like terrifying. It was bad. Yeah, it, it, it was very American for us to come up with two separate responses, both incredibly wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was very like, damn, we really got this one wrong. They're like, we're going to do it how we do politically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no um, good choices. That's kind of how they book TV and everything, too. Every time. Yeah. I just know so many funny people. And every time I'm like, what's happening? I got. I got to ask him. You say this. You had your rant about your Jews in media earlier. What role did you get passed up for recently? <laughs> all of them <laughs> for nine years. All of them. I can't have one more person come up to me and give me a fucking compliment. I'm done. Cool. Tell NBC. Um. I mean. I mean. I, for five, I would like to submit the Black Death here. Yeah. Uh, what if the Black Death? <laughs> no, you're just talking about MLK. He <laughs> 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 just forgot what it was called. <laughs> you know, the Black Death. That was pretty bad on America. Um, what, Morgan, you don't like it? I mean, disaster. Yeah, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's not. I mean, I had the potato famine, but Black Death is probably more impactful than the potato famine. Yeah, I you know, it's one of those French yeah, fries. I, <laughs> well, no, bro. A million people in Ireland died, and they were moving all over the world and shit. A lot to do with our problems now. A million people, but uh, huh? A million people? Yeah, I think it said a million. Damn. I'm pretty sure. What was the Black Death number? No, it's uh, like in the millions. The black death number is way bigger. Somewhere between twenty-five and two hundred million people died in five years. Oh God, that's got to go on the list. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's pretty. Know, that's, that's gnarly. That's so yeah. many more people. Yeah. That's crazy. And basically, like, if all of America plus a part of Canada just disappeared at one time. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. it's that's it's a lot. That's insane. I can't. E- I'm learning so much. I can't even believe it's real. 
<laughs> Truly, you know what the problem is? Is when they tell you 200 million when you're eight years old, you don't understand 200 million. Yeah, you're like, whatever, yeah. 200 million sounds like, like 200 you. when you're eight years old. You're like, cool, yeah. whatever. Now I'm like, that's fucking what must have smelled horrible. They they should have <laughs> teach us. <laughs> that's the you big really tragedy. get into the details in your head. Yeah, the smell. Imagine every time you stepped outside, it's just death and black plague. Just rats everywhere. But it was because there was like poop all over the place and shit. Oh, that is number one. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> because yeah, of just, like, just have the Middle Ages in general be like, this was a disaster. You guys got the Black Death because you were pooping on the street. Like, what? what's going on here? Imagine eating a girl out during those times. Oh, there was none of that. Did that. I don't think you did that at all. You don't think people ate out then? Yeah, you had to. You probably did because your mouth was fucking gross anyway. Yeah. Probably not as often. There was shit all over the place. You probably, they probably ate out to clean their mouth out. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, just some fresh water, please. Yeah, I mean, but also back in those times, if you ate a girl out, people thought you were gay as hell, dude. <laughs> were like, I didn't know you were gay. That's true. I can't believe, you know even, I mean? even, like, even even growing up, if that was like a gay thing, like early yeah. on in, in my sexual <laughs> times, it was just starting to become straight. Like, yeah, you had to come big... out as straight, and you're like, I eat out girls. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a stigma until pretty recently. Oh, I yeah. imagine it traces back to that time. Yeah. Damn. I've never heard that before. You haven't? No. It used to be, yeah, that was definitely a thing. Oh. I feel like until, like, senior year of high school, that's when everyone admitted to doing it. I mean, that's, like, yeah. when I learned and, what it was. And I gotta tell you, the black guys took longer than the white yeah, guys. for sure. <laughs> they were, like, no, it's pr they were, like, so scared of it being gay for so long. They're, like, I don't, I'm just not gonna fuck with it. Because it was gay. I don't know if it is now. Yeah, especially, like, the Caribbean dudes, for sure. Oh, it's yeah. It's still, like, a thing in Jamaica. Oh, yeah, they find out you need a girl in Jamaica, you're getting beheaded. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting your ass beat. <laughs> what did they call you, a Bati boy? Bati boy. Bati man. Batman. <laughs> so funny. That's a negative thing. That has its own name. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so like what? It's a, it's a weird little corner of the world, man. <laughs> but the water is oh. beautiful. Ah, gorgeous. <laughs> so Black Death here. I feel like it should be over Chernobyl. I kind of agree. Mm. I agree with the change. Two hundred million people. I mean, the numbers are definitely. Rats. There. The numbers Shit, are there, but Chernobyl, please. Chernobyl is like an yeah. iconic event. Like Black Death is so long ago. I do I do like giving more uh, like credit to things that were just like a sudden moment, like in time, than like a prolonged like five year period. You know what I mean? I will say this. I will say this. The Black Death. There's still imagery from it that survived today. The fucking plague masks. We've all seen that. Yeah. Mass with the big beaks, like that. The fact that we have imagery that survives for that. Also, long. people say like the plague constantly. Nobody says like Chernobyl. Uh, people are always like, "Oh, it's like the fucking plague in there." It's well, nobody's ever like, "Oh man, she really Chernobyled." <laughs> uh, <ring laughs> name sucks. It should go down and because the name sucks. Honestly, I'm pissed. Bro, could you imagine how terrifying it was? Everybody walking around with those masks on. Yeah, uh, Ring Around the Posy is like a song about people dying in the plague that we all learn as kids. Well, we all learned Ring Around the Rosie, but I don't know yeah, what country you came like from. <laughs> Ring Around the Rosie. Pocket full of posies. It's just been so racist, this whole podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, will, I will let the listeners take note. I've been going against everyone. Yeah. <laughs> the blacks have gotten I mean, it, the whites, the Puerto Ricans. Whatever a song like, is. Whatever Hassan is. <laughs> so I mean, we've had, but we've had things survive from that for what? That's like seven hundred years now. I like the plague over Chernobyl. I agree. Cultural things that lasted. That's pretty impressive. I'll be honest. The mask, uh, they kind of turned me. The we just start wearing those. Again. Those are and sick. the references. I think references are a big indicator on whether it's affected us today or not. We, if you still bring it up. Yeah. It's still effect. It's like getting with someone and they keep bringing up their ex. It's like I know you like them. <laughs> it is. It kind it's of the is. disaster version of that. It kind of is. Yes, they're, they're still on your brain that much. Like you still think about yeah. them that much. 
Yeah. Yeah. Rent free in our heads. Rent free. I, I feel like Chernobyl is is referenced a lot, and maybe it's just because that TV show came out. But I feel like I never heard that. of it until before the TV show. Oh. Wow. Well, I, I have. But I, feel, I I don't think it was referenced as much as the plague. If, I feel it's like just it's, called the plague. But if, I feel like it's used. Chernobyl is used as like a as like a, a the logo of disaster. I feel like. I think maybe I think maybe pre nine eleven, but I think post nine eleven. I feel like nine eleven is the disaster. Yeah, nine eleven really took a lot of Chernobyl's thunder. I feel like. Yeah, but nine eleven yeah. was a was like a terrorist attack. Chernobyl was just like pure pure disaster. Pure like, the what happened was a disaster. The way it was handled was a disaster. In that case, you could say COVID, but we just haven't seen the full effects of it. We're currently in the disaster. Yeah, it's for sure. Like get worse. There's a recency bias yeah. too. Uh, so what do we, I think I think at six now is I think we should talk about the Titanic here. Yeah. Over Katrina? Yeah, I think Katrina's gotta go above Titanic. You think so? Yeah. yeah, Katrina and the Haiti earthquake, I think, are above Titanic. They just haven't made a movie about it that's really good, is the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the that's Katrina. The thing, that's, that's the thing though, the, the fact that it has I mean was at one point the highest grossing movie of all time. It definitely puts something in its favor for sure. And I'll say this yeah, too. Yeah, but I mean, um, the Titanic movie and the Titanic are two separate things in my mind. I just, but it helps I with the relevancy. Katrina, yeah. Titanic's the first thing Katrina, I wrote down. I think Katrina is way more localized than you'd think. Yeah, and I think Katrina, I think Katrina is more just an American disaster than anywhere else. Katrina had a big impact of when it happened in our lives. Like that was like the first, I mean, after 9-11, it was like mm. the first disaster that we witnessed and had to deal with as kids. Wait, what's the other one? Katrina or what? Titanic. Titanic. Oh. The fact that I mean, I draw, a boat sinking it? has lasted as long as it has is pretty wild. Yeah, because honestly, like so many boats have sunk with so many people. That one, that one boat sunk with like three hundred school kids on it, yeah. and it's not as big yeah. of a story as Titanic. Titanic was just an inc- I mean, everybody loves Leonardo DiCaprio. What do you want me to say? Yeah. Have you guys ever gone <laughs> to um, the, the movie mostly? Have you guys ever gone to those parking lot festivals and slid down the Hurricane Katrina slide? I've done the Titanic one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I truly believe there's a Hurricane Katrina slide because that's not far off of what we would do. Oh, no. There's, a, there's definitely a Hurricane Katrina wave pool out there somewhere. <laughs> you know, say, yeah, like a water park or something. <laughs> they should do like um, a bungee jump off the Twin Towers. <laughs> well, they probably got all this shit in, like, in Taiwan. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. It's like a Hurricane Katrina park. <laughs> you sure. go there, it looks like 2005. Ludacris is playing everywhere, and all of a sudden it starts raining. They take Hurricane <laughs> Katrina shots at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> place probably awesome. Actually, there was a shot at the bar that I that they would do, that they did in college, and it was called, it was named after some tsunami that happened. And when you took the shot, basically, if someone ordered the shot for you, you would take the shot, and right as you're taking it, the bartender just throws a cup of water in your face. It's like one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever seen. <laughs> That's really funny. That's yeah. A really good bit. Yeah. Um, there's also uh, yeah. There's also the Irish car bomb, which is named after like a horrible thing. <laughs> A thing that happened that was bad. I'm assuming a car bomb. I mean, it was basically like a, yeah, it was a war between yeah. like the IRA and uh, the English. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, this, 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 it was the I mean, Irish Boston. So Katrina. many things, so many things I put above Katrina. I mean, I put the Titanic above Katrina. I put the Haitian earthquake over Katrina. I put the 2004 tsunami over Katrina. Damn. 2011 tsunami. Pompeii I put over Katrina. Damn. I had Katrina too. Pompeii's pretty good. Pompeii's on my list. Pompeii's uh, pretty good. I think Pompeii's got to be. I think Pompeii could be talked about here. You put so much over Katrina. Yeah, I put a lot over Katrina because Katrina is, uh, you know, recency bias in our lifetime in our country. Yeah, Jeez, uh, you know, someone hates po boys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What New Orleans do to you? <laughs> yeah, you got me too in Katrina for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just by a girl named Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, um, I mean, how do you, how do, Morgan and Kim, how do you guys feel about Katrina? I feel like it was horrible. I feel like it's a, a horrible. It should definitely be next on the list. I think it, Titanic should be almost near the bottom. Well, it so for any mind that vote, like internet... one vote with mostly rich people on it, it's like, please, yeah. let's move on. Accidents happen. <laughs> but at... it was an accident. It truly it was an accident. It's not. You even know what the thing about the Titanic too? They were fucking bragging about it for like years ahead of time. Like no one, it really would have been way more tragic. It was just like a bunch of people just testing God, the unsinkable boat. Fuck you. Here's an iceberg. No, it's not that much of a disaster. It's, yeah, it's not a disaster. It's an accident. I mean, yeah. well, it's definitely a disaster. Yeah. But, like, numbers-wise, it doesn't compare to any of these. But, like, cultural relevancy, it's what's bigger. 9-11, maybe. It, but Titanic is still referenced. I don't know, man. I think, I think the potato famine was a pretty big disaster. Oh, this potato famine thing again. I don't, no, a million, million people shit. died. A million people died. Fuck the potato Dude, famine. I gotta tell you, the Irish... I, it's so funny. A million people died because they ran out of potatoes. I hate like, to say what? this. I've never heard anyone care about the potato famine. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard one person get sad. I don't care. I'm just talking about in terms of disasters. Like, they ran out of potatoes, so a million people died. That's no, insane. I, I know. It's really It shouldn't sad. be a disaster, but it was. It completely fucked them up. Running out of potato. You're just upset they ran yeah, out of potato. How potatoes. funny is that? It's Morgan's worst nightmare. <laughs> a million people died because there were no more potatoes. No, they didn't run out of potatoes. All the potatoes were taken from them. More so than they ran out. By who? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a heavy tax. Oh. <laughs> Which kind of makes funny. it funnier. <laughs> a Damn. little bit. But... That's fucked. That is kind of fucked. I mean, that's the most... It's all... That's... Listen... I mean, that's the most famous famine, for sure. There are bigger famines that killed way more people, but that is the most famous famine. Yeah, that's true. And if you're Irish, I was just kidding. We care that you died. (laughs) That's the people you're going to apologize to? The Irish? (laughs) (laughs) For yourself? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. All the shit you said? (laughs) Irish have had it too bad for too long. I think they need (laughs) <laughs> what if the Irish canceled you? That'd be crazy. The Irish yeah, don't cancel anyone. They don't give a fuck what you say. They truly could not give a fuck less about whatever. Or less, yeah. Yeah, they have the best sense of humor. We should all be more like the Irish. We probably should, actually. I'm 25%. <laughs> I'm a little Irish, too. Tight. Oh, that's why you apologize to them. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't good. <laughs> that wasn't Irish at all. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Part. I apologize. I'm sorry to I see apologize. why you we haven't gotten roles in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, puppy. <laughs> hey, I chipper me timbers. <laughs> That's better, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why That's I had so to say a pirate's line to get it, but. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not a good here? actor. <laughs> <laughs> what are we putting here at six? I mean, it seems like it's between Katrina and Titanic. I... No, no, no one's saying Titanic. You're... Yeah, I think it's just between. I think it's Katrina, to be honest. I think it's between Katrina and the potato no. issue. Yeah, fuck, fuck the potato fan. <laughs> the potato issue. Well, then can I? If we're doing Katrina, if we're like the case of the missing taters, is what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an encyclopedia brown book um case of the missing taters like a <laughs> jones series yeah. captain <laughs> underpants fucking in the case of the missing taters fucking scooby-doo scooby-doo <laughs> He takes he, he takes off the ghost's head and that's where the potatoes are the whole time. Hassan, <laughs> 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 what, what I mean, okay, say? I mean if we're hell bent on Katrina here, what would you think about Katrina and the two thousand ten Haiti Haiti earthquake? Earthquake feels like a bigger disaster. Not to me. Just purely by numbers. And, like, our, our earthquake in Haiti made, like, international news. Like, everyone was raising money for that. Yeah. And the country is still... Like, here's the thing. The country in Haiti is still very destabilized. Like, there's so yeah. many things. Back. Meanwhile, I mean, like, a year and a half later, they're playing Monday Night Football in the Superdome. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, 
That's a good like, point. It was over when the Saints won the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, there's like a lot of these countries are like fucked from this disaster. Yeah. Like, it was hard for us for sure, but like, all right, the Hornets had to play an OKC for a season. All right. We did it for yeah. it to the water, but uh. <laughs> It was called the S O U P E R bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> so wet. <laughs> yeah. See, I can tell. All right. Well then, um, yeah, we can go Haiti earthquake. I also think we should still talk about Pompeii. I think that's a pretty big one. I need to find out what it is. It's like the biggest volcanic eruption. It like destroyed. Uh, yeah, I have heard of that. The city. And then, the, and then the people, the people died, all preserved in volcanic ash. And one guy was oh jerking. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I've seen, I've seen. One the guy was jerking yeah. off. Oh, one guy oh was you jerking know, off. call hey, on Pom- his part. Pompeii. That's what the dude Morgan. That's what I should get a tattoo of. The yeah. dude jerking <laughs> off before he dies. The jerking off Pompeii guy. <laughs> that's really funny. Right on your forehead. And if you close your eyes, isn't that song about Pompeii? Yeah. Oh wow, the people are truly very preserved and. Yeah, there's like a mother okay. hugging her daughter and shit. Wow, it's kind of beautiful. I would put that at not even on the list. Thanks for the art, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. How many people died? I don't know, but I mean, it's one of those, like, that, that's the only other, like, deep historical disaster that I have. Yeah, because when did it happen? Like, so long ago. Yeah, 79 AD. 79 AD. And we're still talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Still talking about it. It's still, it's still like, it's, that is a tourist site. Like, it hasn't changed that much. It's like right after Jesus. So people want to see it. It's like 10 years after Jesus left. Wild. A bit longer than that, isn't it? He left in like 33 yeah. or 34. 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. You know, they're not all bodies. Some of them are actually art. Like statues really? and shit. It's fucked. So that's going down on my list just because <laughs> the media fakeness of it all. Um, I kind of want to put it here. What do you guys think? I'm fine with putting it here. What are we at? Five or six? Six. Six? Yeah, I think it's good at six. We'll go with Pompeii or uh, if I want to go the earthquake next. And I feel like. I feel like the Pom- Pompeii is definitely more famous than the earthquake. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I'd go earthquake next. I think earthquake makes sense next. Hey, hey, sure Just earthquake. the sheer numbers and the fact that it's like Haiti's still very destabilized and fucked up. Yeah, 300,000 is also pretty. Yeah. So we have Katrina at five, Pompeii at six, and the Haiti earthquake we, at seven. Katrina's not on the I list mean, yet. We have Chernobyl at five, Pompeii at six, Haitian earthquake at seven. Oh, and then probably Katrina would be next. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm da- I'm down with Katrina, Katrina at the bottom of the list. Hassan hates Katrina. I, 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 he hates uh, it so much, dude. What the fuck happened to you in New Orleans? <laughs> no, I, what happened I, on Main Street? Tell us. Or Bourbon Street. Get, is that what it's called? Bourbon Street. Get, get why this is important, but like, because it's happened to us recently. But like, if I look over like um, all these like famous disasters, all, all these big disasters, because Wikipedia has a list of all these big natural disasters. And there's so many hurricanes and typhoons that you've just we've just never heard of. And I truly think in like 200 years time, Katrina would just be part of that list. Yeah. Just these big hurricanes that like, oh, I guess this was a thing that killed a few people way back when. That's yeah, but I that but Katrina. it's not just at the hurricane of Katrina though. It's like the disaster of how we handled it, and that we were all just watching on the news right. all day of us not doing shit about this. Right, but that's but that's what I mean. I'm talking about, but like the, I'm sure these other. Um, hurricanes and stuff were handled very poorly, and we just don't know about it now because time has passed. And well, to me, Hurricane Katrina well, like Andrew like and shit, me- media coverage, I mean, Andrew- media coverage too. Yeah, I mean, Andrew was bigger than Katrina. It's in terms of death toll. But if you want, if if other countries want people to care about their earthquakes as, or and shit as much as Katrina, then they should have better news stations. I'm mean, saying, but, but in two hundred years' time, none of that none of that footage is going to exist. All that's going to go away. No, man. I feel well, like I Katrina changed did. a lot of people toward the way that they viewed the government. Yeah, I think... Like, Katrina- 9-11 was, like, a knockout blow, but then Katrina was, like, a couple years later, like, a real nice body shot. Gotcha. Katrina, I think the way to use the Kanye thing is Katrina was when people realized the government was not with us. Yeah. 
it, and it, that they would never help us if that were to happen all, to us. It was like yeah, the eye-opening moment where people are like, oh, if there is another disaster and we're and it happens to us, we're fucked. It's like all, all the unity that 9-11 gave us as a country, Katrina wiped out. Yes. I, all right. I'm, I'm fine with Katrina here. I mean, I understand it's very Americanized, but it's like, that's, this show's, well, I will, this show's I will for argue, us. Argue against it. Yeah, I won't argue against it anymore. You guys got it. Thank God. I'm excited about my next one. Uh, I do want to say. All right, we got two spots chat, left. Chat does, uh, say, uh, chat does say agreed with us on. I just want to put that out there. That we got to take it off. A long time ago, we were talking about Katrina. something else. Is this, is this it's about Katrina. This I saw that before. Yeah. This is, oh, that's good to know. Yeah, we're live. Good, good, good. Uh, I mean, fuck. I got a couple I want to put on there. I have three that I really like. Firefest. Oh, <laughs> that's a good answer. God damn, Firefest was a fucking mess. That's a really good answer. Uh oh, Asan, you're muted. You, Asan. Oh, I'm muted. Oh, now you're back. No, you're good. You're good. I just keep cutting in and out. I really do like Firefest at ten. Firefest <laughs> is fun because it was a disaster, but it happened to rich people, and that's what puts it on the top list for me because it was a fun disaster. And when can we yeah. enjoy a disaster so yeah. much? It yeah, was a very, very it, fun it disaster. It actually could go up higher in the list just for the fact that it's in a disaster that we could all enjoy and bond over and laugh. No one died. Well, I had a fun, no my fun disaster was January 6th. People, that old gay dude that wanted to suck dick for water bottles. It was yeah. beautiful. The whole <laughs> thing great. was that fucking was gorgeous. He was like, yeah. I was going to suck a dick for them. It's like, just suck the dick. You wanted to yeah. suck dick <laughs> on an yeah. island, and that's okay. You've been thinking about yeah. sucking that dick since you got to the island. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was well, had enough water. They're all, they're all of them had helicopters. They could get water to them. Oh. Yeah, I like Firefest on the list. I think we can find something to go at nine. Yeah, but... I think, I think Firefest has to go at 10. Um, I mean, we still have Titanic. How do we feel about the Challenger explosion? I had that at seven. Oh, shit. Yeah. Not that many people died, but it was like you gathered all of American school children to gather around to watch that live on TV, and then the fucking spaceship explodes. Well, let me say this: that's then. that's a fucked up day for everybody. Kind kind of along those same lines. My number five was the Hindenburg, just because it it completely huh? it took out a mode of tr transportation. Like we don't use that anymore. You know what and I mean? And we've all seen what, video of what it. Was that and we've one? all heard that's the blimp that caught on Odin. fire and killed everyone inside. Oh, yeah. We've all heard, all heard, oh, the humanity. We've all heard that. Yeah. That to me, the Hindenburg to me is like if, I mean, I kind of said it earlier about Chernobyl, but it's like if you were to pick a face, like a a, a, pic, a picture for a logo for disasters, I think the Hindenburg would be in the running just because it's like mm. the, the image of the blimp on fire is so iconic. I wouldn't even put it in my top 10. Yeah, me neither, to be honest. The problem I is the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg so, is just a lesser Titanic. Yeah. So it's hard to have a Hindenburg at nine and not have Titanic on the list. An air Titanic. It's, air Titan it's like Air Bud, but the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I like the, uh, remember those people that did the giant balloon release? It was supposed to be the world Guinness yeah. Book of World Records in for Cleveland. most balloons release. In, yeah, in Cleveland. And then it actually... All the balloons started blocking the airways. I think there was like a plane crash and like 10 car accidents. Yeah. And a boating accident and people died. That one was a kind of an interesting disaster. Yeah, a bunch, of, I don't know a bunch of people on boats it. died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy. I like that as an honorable mention. Can you imagine you're, you're drowned by balloons and that's how you die? <laughs> that's such an awful way to go. Can't even find the people they were searching in the waters, but all the balloons look like heads, so it just looked like millions of people. In the oh water. my god! Yeah, brutal. Um, I also want to bring up the Hillsborough disaster. The Hillsborough what was that? guys, which is yeah, when they cousins started fucking. No, it's that it's that soccer game when everyone rushed to the front and they tramped like ninety something people got trampled to death. I thought it was I thought it was like hundred. I thought it was like hundred seventy. Oh, it was like more than that? than that. Yeah. Travis Scott concerts little bit. would be a good one too. Yeah, Astro World. The Hillsboro disaster Astro World. is like is like what the Travis Scott concert was, but like way worse. Yeah, ninety seven people died. Ninety seven. Yeah, crazy. Wow, that's pretty bad. 
<clears throat> um, also, we never brought up like the oil spills, but I think those could get honorable mention. Yeah. Ooh. Oil but it's spill. like, because nothing, uh, I guess gas is more expensive. That's like what really changes for you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know it fucked up the environment, but we don't really see that right now. Or maybe we do. I just, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not positive. I would say if you look at the weather, if you look at the weather patterns or like the weather we've just experienced over the last couple of years, I think it's very clear that it's fucking with us now. Yeah. But I'm saying you don't see the direct, you know what I'm saying? Like, also, a good one is the ending of Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I have that. Yo, I, that was my question the 10. I, Daenerys Targaryen destroys Whoa. King Landing with a dragon. That was a fucking disaster. Damn. Ending of Game Whoa. of Thrones was one of the worst disasters I've ever seen. It was truthfully the best TV I have ever watched in my entire life. Like, I couldn't believe that it could be so good and I could be so immersed in some, into something I'm not even into. I'm not into that shit at all. And I was so fucking into it. And the way they just destroyed the best TV show in the world by being lazy in the last season was insane. It, it, it really, truly took a show that was quite possibly, I mean, I would, everyone would definitely put it in their top three. I think it was the greatest show of all time. And now it's not even in my top five. Like, that's how badly they ruined the end. Yeah. They ruined actually, I don't mind that <laughs> at nine. I yeah. think as far as entertain, out of, because inter we haven't talked about entertainment disasters, and that's probably the biggest one. That yeah, was I really think it's bad. List. It was too. really bad. Also, it's just what an upsetting ending. What a lazy, fucking, disgusting, upsetting ending. <laughs> oh yeah, they had us for eight years, and yeah, it was just wow. I, they really, I, they really fucked us on it. I wrote the best alternate ending. You want me to give you a quick summary and tell me if you yes. agree? Yeah, this would have been so like better. It feels like you're waiting for this moment the entire time. This is, yeah. what, I, this is what I've been trying to pitch for the Jews. This is what I've been talking about the whole time. I'm trying to pitch this ending. Just let me rewrite it. We can put it out. And we can change the history of Game of Thrones. At the very end, when Tyrion finds his brother, Jamie sees his hand hanging out of the rocks, he should have grabbed it. And when he pulled it out, it should have just been the little, the little gold thing that was covering his hand, meaning that they got away. There should have been some battle between Cersei and Daenerys where Cersei kills Daenerys. Everyone's so upset. And then the show should have ended with Cersei sitting on the Iron Throne. And as it faded out, you saw that uh, the case of faces behind her so that you would know that uh, Arya actually killed Cersei and took her face and then took the Iron Throne. So great. Dude, that's actually that's way better than that's way better than what yeah, they did. Yeah, I'll give you sure. that. That sounds pretty fucking dope. So yeah. dope. You would have been so upset watching her take the throne and then as it faded out, that would have gone away and then you would have been so happy. It's the perfect ending. Yeah. Damn. Why don't why not just write that? It's so good. The battle, you're upset about Daenerys, then Cersei kills Daenerys, and then maybe after that is when Arya could have killed Cersei. So you could have had that ending too. You 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 never see Arya kill Cersei. That never. would make it great. Yeah. You never. never see it. You never. just know. Yeah. You just yeah. know. Yeah. You just know she fucking did it, and she took her face, and fucking now she's rocking the Iron Throne as whoever she wants to be. Now the North wins, and they look like they're uh, the the Lannisters or whatever. What's their last name? Yeah, the Lannisters. Yeah, Lannisters. That's how badly they fucked up. You almost forgot the Lannisters last name. <laughs> yeah. How badly yeah. of a disaster. Game of Thrones. Hey, nobody yeah. watch uh, rewatch Game of Thrones during the pandemic. Mm -mm. No. Oh, it's everyone. I don't even tell it. people to start. I, I'm like, yeah, you can start it, but it ends bad, which is like the yeah. worst thing to tell someone. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when it people tell like you to watch Lost. No, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Game of Thrones ending took over Lost as like way to just fuck up a great thing that people enjoyed. Game of Thrones was so bad <laughs> that I rewatched Lost during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the ending's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm really down, I am really down to put Game of Thrones season eight right here. Me Game too. I don't even want to read my other ones. Too. Yeah. And then Firefest Fest, Fire Fest at 10? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I think this is such a great list. Yeah. Do we have a list of uh, the list? I want to hear it over I, again. Well, let's let's quick talk about this. Titanic not being on this list is pretty wild. No, it's not. I don't think so. Yeah, I know you're very hooked on it, but I don't think it's wild that Titanic's on. It was not like it's not like a disaster. Like I don't like I don't mourn the people that died in Titanic. 
I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, in, in terms I of an that. iconic disaster, it's like maybe the most iconic. Yeah. It's the most iconic accident. I mean, I mean if I were talking about iconic, are we going to replace Haiti with Titanic? If we're talking about iconic, no, no. one ever talks about hit the Haiti earthquake. It just doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, I think that's I think that's the one. If we were to replace something with the Titanic, it'd probably be the Haitian earthquake. So your call, just... your call, Lockwood. Do you want to do that live on camera? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the one that people talk about the least. If we're being honest, it's definitely way bigger than the Haitian earthquake. Yeah, I think Haitian earthquake should be moved all the way down. But then what's taken I, off? I mean, this is three hundred thousand people. The country's still fucked up. Yeah, but like, I mean, look. The Are we just saying we don't care about Haiti? When's the last time you thought like about the it before today, thing? though? And we're saying other people don't care about Haiti. Yeah. Yeah. Four thousand <laughs> white people that died 80 years ago are more important than obviously. Like, obviously, we care about <laughs> Haiti. That's so fucked up. We care about Haiti because it was on like, all of our lists. My, right, Haiti but, was third on my list. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, he's gonna. Are we gonna be swayed right now in the final moments? It wasn't on my list. We though. really, if we really, and this is to be honest, if we really cared about death toll then this entire list would be a bunch of disaster that happened in China. Yeah. That's the reality of the situation. Like, yeah. the, the Chinese famine killed 55 million people. The Yellow River flood killed 2 million people. They had another flood that killed another 2 million people. At the end of the day, no one talks about those, though. They weren't on CNN. That, but that's, but I mean, it's the same argument with Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. I think the Haitian earthquake will get lost in time. The way that the Titanic just won't. I kind of agree with that. Uh, because and of Leonardo DiCaprio. And if we're talking iconic, you know, what, the fact that fire festivals there and Titanic isn't. I think we should replace Haiti. I hate to I hate to say it. <laughs> I hate to fucking say it, but if we're talking iconic disasters, it Haiti is iconic in numbers. But if we're talking about like iconic the way that the world is looking at it, unfortunately, people yeah. don't give a fuck about it. I I do want to say this too. If you want, like, if you want to make an iconic list like this, you need to have a name for your disaster. The, the Haitian earthquake, it just, it doesn't have, it's not like marketable. Yeah, you have to say the year. It's the same. It's the same problem with the tsunami. The two thousand. I know what they could have called it. The rut row. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect name for when you see a disaster coming your way. <laughs> rut row. It's, if you're scared, if you're with a group of people and you're all scared and something's happening, if you want to break everyone just for one last laugh, say run, row. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, think- I wish the Haitian earthquake was higher up, but I'm just speaking on the reality of things, not what I want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Titan- Titanic's too iconic, bro. I- a bunch of rich people die on the boat. They never stop talking about it. Yeah, I know it sucks. They make like, movies oh, fucking 80 years later. Yeah, fine. Fuck it. Yeah. People still <laughs> say, <laughs> don't let go, Jack. People still <laughs> say, <laughs> drop it. That's, that's not the drop actual disaster. Like that's the thing I don't like about the Titanic. We're just giving so much credit to it because of the movie. Yeah, but that's what credit. You know what? Huh? You think anybody would know about well, the what movie? Has the very, like, it's a love story. We're just, like, Anne you know what I mean? Diary, Anne Frank's diary is the reason anybody knows about the Holocaust. That's no. That's wait. What? It's about media. It's about media. <laughs> she's 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 not. I will say this. She's not wrong about that. So, um, back in tenth grade, we did world history. Wait, no, listen to me. Back in tenth grade, we did world history, and our world history teacher. We had a lot of foreign students. Ask all the foreign students if any of them knew what the Holocaust was, and none of them did because they don't have the media to consume it. They don't talk about the Holocaust in their country. Media is such a huge. Huge player in what disasters matter. And the fact Wait, where that the, getting, and getting these people didn't know what the Holocaust was? It's so fucking about, juicy and gossipy that people love it, and that's what makes it iconic. People love that she was up in there writing everyone's business. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kids from India, the kids from China, they had no idea what the Holocaust was. Oh. Never heard of it until they moved to America. Song from Britney Spears. Dear diary, today <laughs> I saw the boy. And so, basic, basically, if you really want people to remember the 2010 earthquake, we got to get James Cameron on it. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the best way to do it. You got to yeah. get what? 
gotta get James Cameron on it. You gotta I, get someone yeah. who. I think people who still talk mind. about that tsunami more than they talk about the Haiti earthquake because of the movie. I agree. Steven Spielberg, Deepwater Horizon. Yeah, <laughs> Wahlberg I'm, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, right. I think I think I think we got I'm okay to with it. Yeah, put it in the Titanic. We can honorable mention it. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting. <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna be several honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Um, so right. I have a couple I didn't even bring up that I want to be talked about for honorable mention. How many honorable mentions? How many feels want. right? Okay. Um. So I'll put Haitian earthquake. I'm gonna put the Hindenburg. Mm. Morgan, say yours. Challenger. Okay. Challenger. Challenger for sure. I think you should put uh, uh, the 2004 and 2011 tsunamis. I think both of those tsunamis. Morgan, I'll put the fucking potato famine for you. You don't have to. Potato I'd famine. much rather have Super Bowl 51 on honorable mentions. Hey, I was going to say that too. <laughs> yeah, that was originally my top 10 and bumped down to 11. That was the most epic failure I've ever seen a football team. Any sports team, really. Yeah. Insane. That the, was that Broncos? No, that's uh, uh, Patriots. Uh, Falcons 28 to 3. Ooh. Falcons. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? I'd like to put in uh, in the running Sammy Sosa's face. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it's fucked up. I like that's that. a good like one, that. right? That's upsetting. Like that is a huge yeah. disaster. Yeah, what's well, like, dog? We know you. Yeah, please. And you were fine. You, you were one of the most famous people in the world in like 1998. Like, what's going on here? Oh, I, I do like Sammy Sosa's face. <laughs> yeah, it's on there. <laughs> yeah. uh, I also had the cancellation of happy endings after three seasons. <laughs> eh, it kind of ran its course. All right. Great show, though. Great show. Um, oh, I had the 2004 presidential election, too. I had, I had my... I, yeah, uh, Bush Kerry. I mean, 2000 is way, way bigger. Oh, that's... You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. I apologize. You're right. That's what I'm thinking about. That was a shit show. Well, I... I feel like I feel like I mean uh chat said global climate change. I feel like that's a good answer. Yeah. There's a good one. Trump. Trump was bad. Trump Trump was so bad, like not even speaking politically, but the fact that we elected that man to be our president after the things he said and did was so embarrassing to us as a country that it it literally ruined our reputation forever. Like if it was if it wasn't already ruined, it fucked it's like it's like Seeing your dream girl get a fucking train ran on her. You're like, I can't. It's like, yeah, she, yeah, she was fun, like, and that was fun to watch, and I'll watch it again, but I will never marry this girl. That's she exactly was so I mean. happy while it was happening, too. Just smiling yeah. ear to ear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was coming more than you've ever seen her come. Yeah, contact with you, like, yeah, this is great. It wasn't even a good yeah. train, it's like fat old men. Yes, it was just <laughs> a train with bad men. This is what you wanted? Yeah. Isn't it bad? It was bad. Yeah. Um, also, uh, another good one is my love life. Nice. You All can right. put mine on there, too, honestly. <laughs> Anyone else want to hop in? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. All of our love lives. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hopping out. Yeah. This could just be a Matt and Kim creation. Uh, not you guys being happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. All right. I think that's a good enough list. I think that's a great list. Me too. Tight. That's a great list. Thank God we got Titanic on there at the end. Yeah, you're really. <laughs> I mean, you weren't going to give up. You know what? I don't think. I, I don't. I think. I think saying "thank God" during this episode is the wrong thing to say. Just in general, <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a very God fucked us episode. Yeah, Matt came true. in there in the end. He said, "No way are these three hundred thousand Haitians worth more than these um, eighteen hundred rich English people." I mean, <laughs> Absolutely the, not. I mean, historically, historical conversion rates would suggest that he's right. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Our tragedy is worth way more. <laughs> All right, tight. That's our list. Um, thanks for doing it, Kim. That was fun. That was very was fun. Yeah. I've been so oh, yeah. excited for the show. I love your show. You guys have the best clips. It's always fun. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good clips in this episode. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll we'll post them. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, thanks for coming. Peace.